everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here for a short day today. It's raining outside, but I was able to kind of line things up so I could have some indoor work today. Uh, this whole week is going to be pretty wet, and I wanted to make sure I could still use the time. Yesterday I got the foam about halfway up the outside of this wall. That's going really well. But if I try to continue that today, there's probably about a day and a day and a half of work left. But if I try to do one on a rainy day, things are going to be slippery, they're going to be wet, the spray foam's not going to stick as well, everything's going to get covered in mud, and it would just take... Uh, a day and a half job and make it more uncomfortable. I couldn't do it as well because things wouldn't be sticking and it would probably make it take longer also. So I want to be working in here today and I want to be focusing on getting the ground ready to accept the cinder blocks. Uh, if you recall I've been talking about having some air moving underneath the slab to take heat from the upstairs and blow it through kind of like a radiator uh, under the floor that'll warm the floor, that'll uh, uh, cool the air as it goes through and put cooler air into the house. So you get kind of a more balance between the upstairs and downstairs, so it's not super hot upstairs and super cool downstairs. Um, so I, I'm, I gotta prep the ground for that. And uh, what I'm doing today is using this tool, which is a fence post attached to a piece of pressure treated scrap, and just stomping the ground. If you recall yesterday, Josh was here and he's using this tool to kind of use it as a measuring stick. And the idea is that the, the ground level needs to be right at the, the bottom of where the stick is here. And I told Josh not to be too, uh, too much of a stickler about it making it exact, because whatever, wherever he kind of got things shoveled, I knew that they were gonna compact down. So if it's a little too high, that's okay because it's gonna get kind of compressed down. And once it does can get, get compressed down, if it's too high, at that point we'll kind of rake it off. But that's what I'm doing today, is uh, just kind of stomping the stuff down. And it really is, it's just a really repetitive process of doing this over and over and over. Last time I did this, I did it at the other house. It worked very well. I mean, I did it the same way, just a bar with a board at the end. Um, I didn't get any cracking in the slab at the other place, so it, it worked pretty well. But it does take an enormous amount of time, and I thought it was much more enjoyable using music. Uh, but I forgot to bring my music and headphones. I find reggae is kind of a nice uh, beat speed, because if it was like really fast hip-hop, you'd be like... Yeah. And it's just your muscles couldn't take that. Reggae is kind of like, but I'll just have to have the reggae in my head. Um, so uh, yeah, that, that's my entire day today, just kind of stomp, 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 stomp. Maybe I can get my feet into it too. That's it. Thanks for watching.